Brody with Groovy Cycle Works here. Uh, today I'm doing a little bit of welding on a one piece bar stem combo. And while I was working around, I fouled my tip a little bit. Uh, it's got some gaseous deposit coming off of the surface material as I weld. And when you have a little bit of that deposit, it can cause your arc to wander and not hold as crisp and clean as you would like to keep those tight miters seamed together. So, what I thought I would do is show you uh, my approach to sharpening our tungsten electrodes. Okay, what I've done is I've just simply loaded my electrode into the tip of a cordless drill and I have it on a low setting. I have my diamond grinding wheel which is only used for sharpening electrodes set up and I'm going to go ahead and turn on my grinder. You can see I have a resting post right in front that I'm going to utilize for resting my electrode on so I can make sure that my tip stays as stable as possible. I just come up and gently grasp my tip, rest it on the post, and begin my revolution. And then I'm going to gently put it right into the grinding wheel. Keep a nice steady pressure so I have a very fine tip. I'm going to flip it over and hit the other side as well. Keeping my drill rotating as I take the electrode away from the grinding face. And what you can see is I have a very nice spherical tip. My striations will be moving in line with the electrode, albeit around a little bit, and it gives me an uncontaminated point from which to weld from. Okay, coming back, you can see that we have a nice sharp tip. Its length is about two and a half times its outer diameter. Conical, coming down to a nice sharp point. I've sharpened it on both sides, so I can flip my electrode around when I'm ready. I also have a small rag here with a little bit of acetone on it that I'm going to wipe my tip on, make sure it's nice and clean before I put it back into my torch. A nice simple way to quickly and consistently sharpen your electrodes to give you the maximum efficiency when you're welding using your TIG setup. I hope you found this uh, little video instructional and maybe give you a tip or two. Thanks for stopping in and checking out what I do here at Groovy Cycle Works.